Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I've got something pretty cool. I was inspired by my friend Paradise Decay and also the fellow VR YouTuber who I haven't actually gotten the acquaintance with, Beardo Benjo, to check out a new game and see Will It VR. Uh, the game that I'm going to be playing, I'm going to be using a tool called Vorpex, which allows you to add geometric 3D or Z-buffer 3D effects to existing non-3D or non-VR titles and kind of give it more of an immersive feel. Uh, I played a bunch of things with Vorpex at this point. I've, again, been inspired by my peers to build this profile. This is the first profile I've ever built in Vorpex, so it might be a little bit rough around the edges. But I do feel that Power Wash Simulator was definitely worth putting that time and effort into, and I really find it a very relaxing game and I wanted to share. So I'm gonna hop in now, you're gonna see me set up the Vorpex settings and get going. Again, thanks to Paradise Decay and Beardo Benjo for inspiring me to do this type of thing. Check out their channels if you get the chance. They have lots of coverage of Vorpex and lots of coverage of some pretty awesome titles that aren't normally available in VR, but you can play in a very immersive way. So right now, Vorpex is in cinema mode. I don't want it to be in cinema mode. I could do full VR mode, as you can see, but it's a little bit uncomfortable. So we're gonna do immersive screen mode. Now I am gonna leave Geometry 3D on. I am gonna leave it with a 3D strength scale of 1 and head tracking multiplier of 0 0.50. So the screen distance right now is at 0. We're going to make it go a little bit back so we can see the full effect of the screen. So I like it at about 80. And that's going to change based on your taste. Um, you can put it as close or as far as you want to. That's the beauty of Vorpex. But right about here, I feel that 3D effect comes on really well. So we're going to do free play in Power Wash Simulator in Vorpex in the Quest 2 running through Virtual Desktop. And we are going to clean this nice van in my home garage. Now this game is designed for keyboard and mouse. Um, as you can see, there are also controls for this great controller that I've got here. And one of the things that I really like is, and I know the mouse cursor keeps coming up, uh, but you can actually tilt your head as opposed to moving the controller. And it, it actually, I'm basically face aiming the nozzle. It's very cool. Um, and then I can reset my position, of course, and do the same. We've already cleaned the windscreen. And we've already cleaned the hood of the car. Now one of the things you can also do is crouch, so we're going to do that right now. Because we need to get to the lower portion of the car. Now, of course, I probably could have just crouched down to... Now, for this one, I'm, I'm actually guiding it with the mouse, which is another option that you have here. That picked up in place equipment message is actually for that uh, ladder over there, which we'll get to in, in a couple of minutes. It's 
still see some dirt here on both the grill right here there we go we got the grill done and then the bumpers got there's some dirt right here but I'm sure there's also some dirt over here There's probably some dirt on the other side too, so we'll get to that in just a moment. Ah, oh, yeah, we got four tires to do too. Look at how shiny this van is after you've got it all dolled up here. It's a shame it's had all these years of grime. There's a key you can hit to actually see the dirt. Let's see if we can get that to come up here. You can tell where where the bumper has not been cleaned. So we're gonna do another once over on it. Now we'll come back to that. Maybe it's this side over here. Clean the hubcap. Working on the tire. Got the tire. Okay. I think what we'll do while we're crouched down is get all four tires. That's tire number two. Get these bumpers in a moment. Tire number three. And four. All right. So we're going to go back to the back bumper now. Let's start over here. the back bumper. And now we're going to uncrouch. We're going to start on the windows. Window number one. Window number two. Window number three. Now while we're here, I'm gonna grab this mirror. Go to the other side. So we've got the windscreen, both windows. On the back, both windows on the front now. Hopefully, we'll have both windows on the front. And then we'll do two mirrors. Alright. So now we've got doors to do next. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just check the progress here. So we're going to pause for a second. So we go to details. You can see we've got the bonnet clean. That's the uh, hood of the car. Both bumpers are 12% clean on the doors. The grill's clean. The headlights are clean. The hubcaps are clean. The indicators are clean. The tires are clean. The windows are clean. The windscreen is clean. The wing mirrors are clean. And the brake lights are not yet clean. So I haven't even touched those brake lights. They're on the back doors. So we've got four doors to do and the body and the brake lights. So let's uh, close the tablet, go back into the game. It's nice that we have a helpful tablet that tells us the status here.
door number one. Ah, there's a brake light. So now you've got both doors and both brake lights. So if we exit, you'll see 50% of the doors are done. 52% to be more accurate. And you see the brake lights are now clean. So I like that it actually kind of gives you that guide, if you will. It's pretty cool. So let's uh let's move over here. Such a nice shiny van underneath. So we're going to do these doors next. Door number one. Door number two. Up close if we want to. And you know what? This nozzle is just not doing it for me anymore. There's so much surface area. We're going to change that out. So give me just a moment here. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with... One second here. Let's go with the 40 degree nozzle. Let's see how that works. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb up on here. And you can see the grime of years on the roof. And wow. Job complete. Let's walk around this beautiful, shiny van. This is the work we did. This is the nice power wash we have made. So we're going to open the tablet here. And you can see the progress of us cleaning off 
this gorgeous, gorgeous, grimy van. Hope you've enjoyed this video. This was a quick look at Power Wash Simulator using Vorpex so that we've got an immersive screen in Geometry 3D in VR. I'll be back with more content soon. I really wanted to share this one. I created this Vorpex profile. It is available in the cloud. Uh, you do have to fine tune the settings to your satisfaction. Uh, it's based off of just the, the base Unity 5 profile. So it works pretty much out of the box with that. So just to show you the settings, once I'm in Vorpex again, we've got immersive screen mode, screen distance at 0.8 for myself, but these, these are just to my taste, and we've got the 3D reconstruction at geometry. You could change that to uh, Z normal or, or Z adaptive if you want to. I actually really prefer the geometry 3D because it feels like a more strong stereo 3D effect. I have head tracking multiplier set to 0.5. Again, that's to your taste. If you want to just use the controller or the keyboard and mouse to control actions, you can as well. And that's pretty much all I have set up for Power Wash Simulator in Vorpex using the Quest 2 with Virtual Desktop. There are multiple different things you can do. You can clean with specials, clean with career mode, clean in free play. I will also add Future Lab, the company that made this game, have a couple of PlayStation VR titles and have indicated that once they're out of early access, depending on sales and depending on demand, they may bring full-fledged VR mode to this game. So keep an eye out for that, uh, especially if you don't have Vorpex or you're not into this type of thing. Super relaxing, super chill, super fun game. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.